Hello, math enthusiasts! Now, let's discuss the ways to solve quadratic equations. Now, we have four ways to solve for it. First is by extracting the square roots. Then, we have factoring. And then, we have completing the square. And the last way is using the quadratic formula. Now, bahala kayong mag-decide kung anong way ang gusto nyong gamitin sa pagsusolve. Pero, mas magandang alamin muna kung ano ang given sa ka mag-decide. Dahil minsan, depende sa given kung ano ang dapat mong gamitin. So, let's go on. Let us start with extracting the square roots. So, we have here x squared is equal to 121. So, we have to get the square root of both sides. So, we extract the square root of the left side and the right side. So, the square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 121 is positive and negative 11. Now, the possible values that will satisfy the equation will be positive 11 and negative 11. Let's have number 2. So, we have here 4b squared is equal to 25. Dahil meron tayo numerical coefficient dito, dapat i-divide muna natin both sides with 4. So, ang matitira dito sa left side will be b squared. And then, we will have here 25 and over 4. Now, we have to extract the roots of both sides. Okay, so the square root of b squared is b. And now, yung square root ng 25 over 4 will be positive, negative. Square root of 25 is 5 over the square root of 4 is 2. So, the possible values that will satisfy this quadratic equation is a positive 5 over 2 and negative 5 over 2. For number 3, we have the quantity of 3c minus 1 squared equals to 0. Now, to solve for this, we have to get okay, the roots of both sides. Okay, so extracting the roots, we will have now 3c minus 1 here and the square root of 0 is 0. And then, next is we will transpose this negative 1 on the other side. So, from negative 1, it will become positive 1. So, 0 plus 1. And what will remain here is 3c. So, 3c is equal to 0 plus 1 is 1. And then, we have to divide it by 3. So, we will have here c is equal to 1 over 3. The possible value that will satisfy the equation is one-third. For number 4, we have the quantity x minus 2 squared is equal to 25. So, same procedure tayo. Kailangan makuha natin ang square root ng both sides. So, we will have here now the square root. And then, the square root of this. So, we cancel. Ang matitira na lang sa side na to ay x minus 2. Equals to the square root of 25. So, the square root of 25 is positive negative 5. Since we have two values here, isang positive, isang negative, we will have two solutions. So, 1 is for x minus 2 equals to positive 5. Ayun yun. And we have here x minus 2 equals to negative 5. Ito naman yun. Now, to solve, we have to transpose this one, negative 2 here. So, we will have now here x is equal to 5. Since negative siya dito, paglipat, positive 2 na siya. So, x is equal to 5 plus 2, 7. Now, here, same lang siya. Ililipat din natin ito dito. So, x is equal to negative 5 plus 2. 
from negative naging positive. So, we have negative 5 plus 2. We will have here negative 3. So, the possible values that will satisfy the quadratic equation is a 7 and negative 3. So, for number 5, medyo komplikado lang ng konti, pero kayang-kaya pa rin isolve. So, we have to transpose this one here first. So, kailangan mailipat muna siya doon. So, we will have now here 2 times the quantity of x minus 2 squared equals 2 from negative 32, magiging positive 32 na siya. Okay, and then, hindi pa muna natin kukunin yung square root niya. We have to divide it first by 2. Okay, so cancel. Now, what will remain here is x minus 2. And then, quantity squared equals to 32 divided by 2 is 16. Now, we can extract the square root. So, we have here the square root of this one and the square root of this one. So, we have to cancel. x minus 2 is equal to the square root of 16, which is positive and negative 4. So, we still have to solve for this. Magkakaroon ulit tayo ng dalawang solution. Isang x minus 2 equal to positive 4. Ito yon. And then, x minus 2 equals to negative 4. And then, we solve. So, we transpose this one here. So, it will become x equals to 4. From negative, magiging positive na siya. So, x is equal to 4 plus 2 is 6. Now, here, ganun din. Transpose hindi to siya. So, we have x is equal to negative 4. From negative, magiging positive. So, we have here negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So, the values that will satisfy the quadratic equation is positive 6 and negative 2. So, now let's solve quadratic equation by factoring. So, we have here b squared plus 5b equals 0. So, we have to factor. By common monomial factoring, we can factor this one. Anong common kay b squared and 5b. Obviously, b. So, we have to take b. Now, what will remain inside the parentheses will be b squared divided by b. So, we will have here b. So, yung 2 minus 1b may sa pang b. And then, plus a 5b divided by b. So, you will have here 5 equals to 0. Okay, now you will have two values here. One is b equals 0. So, you have the first value. And the other one will be b plus a 5 equals to 0. We still have to manipulate this one by transposing 5. Ililipat siya dito. So, we will have here now b is equal to 0 minus 5. So, the final answer will be b is equal to negative 5. Now, the values that will satisfy or that will solve the equation b squared plus 5b equals to 0 is 0 and negative 5. Okay, for number 2, we have here x squared plus 6x equals to negative 9. So, we have to equate this by 0, but we have to have this negative 9 be transferred dito para ma-factor natin siya. So, we have here now x squared plus 6x. So, from negative, it will become positive 9 equals to 0. Now, we find for the factors. Magkakaroon tayo dyan ng binomial. Okay, now, since this is x squared, we know that we will have here x and x. Now, let's uh, find for the factors of 9 that will give you 6. Ano ba yung pag pinag-multiply mo, ang product niya ang 9, pero ang sum niya ay 6. So, pwede tayong pumili ng factors na 9 times 1 and then 3 times 3. Pero dito sa dalawa na to, ano ba yung mag 
yield ng answer na 6. So, we have 3 and then 3. Since both are positive, we can say that these two have a positive sign. And then we solve. So, we will have here x plus 3 equals to 0 and another x plus 3 equals to 0. So, you will have lipat lang doon ulit, lipat lang doon ulit is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to negative 3. So, the value that will satisfy this quadratic equation is negative 3. So, let's have here number 3, x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. Now, we will factor this one. So, binomial to equals to 0. Now, the factors are, uh, the factors of x squared is x and x. Now, we have to find out the factors of 8 that will yield 2. So, kailangan natin malaman, ano ba yung factor ng 8 na kapag in or sinabtrack natin, 2 ang lalabas. So, we can have 8 times 1, 4 times 2. So, alin dyan yun? Obviously, it's a 4 and 2. So, we have here 4 and then 2. Since we have a negative sign here, we can say na yung factors natin have different sign. Magkaiba ang sign. Kasi dapat pag pinagmultiply mo sila, negative ang lalabas. Pero, since ang ating middle term ay positive, dapat yung positive sign ay nandun sa mataas na number. Which will make this positive 4. And this is negative 2. Now, we can solve. So, we have here x plus 4 equals to 0. And then, x minus 2 equals to 0. Pinaghiwalay natin ito para masolve natin. So, we have to transpose 4 sa kabila. So, from positive, this will become x equals to 0 minus 4. So, that will be x equals to 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Now, here, transpose din si negative 2 sa kabila. So, we'll have here x equals to negative siya kanina, magiging positive 2 na siya. So, 0 plus 2. So, x is equal to 0 plus 2 is 2. Now, the values that will satisfy the quadratic equation is or are negative 4 and Two. Now, for our last given, we have 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0. Now, as you can see, if you will observe this one, 2, 8, and 10, pare-pareho silang divisible by 2. So, we can simplify this at first before finding for the factors. So, we have to take out 2. So, what will remain inside is... 2x squared divided by 2, x squared na lang siya. Uh, positive 8x divided by 2 will be positive 4x. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5 equals to 0. Now we have to factor this trinomial. So I will have here 2 and then binomial here 0. Now, we have to find out the factors of 5 that will yield a 4. So, iisa lang naman ng factor, or dadalawa lang naman ng factor ng 5, 5 and 1. And, sakto naman siya, pag ito ay sinabtrack natin, 4 ang lalabas. So, we have here 5 and 1. So, since this is x squared, we have x and then x. Since our last term is negative, we can say that the sign of these two will be different. Magkaiba sila kasi ang product nila ay negative. So, looking at the middle term, positive siya. This will let us decide kung nasaan ba si positive. Since positive ang middle term, dapat nandun siya sa mataas na number. So, we will have here positive. So, this one will be negative. Now, bago natin sila i-simplify or i-solve, Ibigay muna natin to dito. So, we will have here now 2x plus 10. 
and then x minus 1 equals to 0. Now, we can solve. Paghiwalayin na natin sila. Isang 2x plus 10 equals to 0 at isang x minus 1 equals to 0. So, here, ilipat ito. Kailangan ma-isolate si 2x. So, we will have 2x is equal to negative 10. From positive, magiging negative. And then, we divide it by 2. So, we will have here, dito na lang. So, we will have here, x is equal to negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. Okay, so here, ilipat lang to dito sa kabila. So, I'll have here x equals to 0 plus 1. So, x is 0 plus 1 is 1. So, the values that will satisfy the quadratic equation are negative 5 and 1. So, that's it. We have factoring and extracting the roots. So, you wait for the next video for the remaining two ways, which is quadratic formula and completing the square. See you guys! Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, don't forget to hit like, share, and click the subscribe button. And hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Bye, Matsusiast!